Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. Let us start. In today's class, the topic what we are going to discuss is estimates. Contents for today's discussion are as follows. We will be going to discuss about the meaning of an estimate, what actual estimate means. Then we will be going to discuss purpose of estimates. Then we will also be discussing the types of estimates or various types of estimates I can say. Then at last we will be discussing in today's discussion the last topic various items to be included in an estimate. Now let us first understand the basic definition what does estimate means. Please remember we are going to discuss this particular word in construction industry. So I am starting the discussion. I am starting this meaning. Please remember this very carefully. Estimate in construction industry means it is an approximate data of quantities or time or in specific the cost or cost estimate of a work or service. Which means estimate will give us an approximate estimation required quantities required time or maybe the cost for doing a project for doing a work or for doing a service. Now this comes in a simple way if I tell you then approximate quantity if you multiply with present rate will give you the estimate. Now please remember to get an estimate it is important that these two components should be there. What is the quantity and what is the present rate when you are doing the estimate. Now the quantity you can take out from the given drawing or this quantity you can take out from the existing sites which are available whether the site is new or old then you can apply the present rate or you can multiply with the quantity whatever you are getting then quantity into rate will give you the estimate. Now let me tell you with an example. For example I am taking tile flooring. Let us assume the quantity we have got for tile flooring is 1200 square feet and I am taking the rate as 45 rupees which includes material, manpower, the required other tools and machinery. It includes all in fact in the rate. Therefore according to our formula quantity 1200 into rate 45 will give you the amount 54,000 rupees. Now this is the estimate. I hope it is clear. Now let us go to the purpose of an estimate. So many of you know but still you know uh, we are repeating generally why do we estimate uh, or what is the purpose of an estimate. So let us understand. The purpose of an estimate in construction industry is to know or tell the approximate cost of doing a work. So we will be doing here the approximate cost for doing any work or we can say for doing any service or for a project also. For example if you are taking any uh, building project which include which is like five floor building which includes everything material manpower all the services required then you will be coming to know what is the estimate for doing that particular project that particular building or that particular service. I have given the examples here cost of doing flooring work. You have to know the estimate, how much it is required. Then cost of repairing an AC, air conditioning unit. Cost of constructing a five floor building. So the purpose will, uh, you know, give you, uh, the purpose of the giving this uh, estimate will help you in, you know, decision making and understanding and knowing the cost of that particular item. Now if I elaborate it little more, I am putting it as heading Y. If we know the estimate or if we know the cost, then it will be easy for the owner and client or the management or the government 
to take the decision of yes or no and also important is how so this will help the estimate will help the management or an individual and company whether to go for the project or not the project whether to take any product or not whether to take any service or not whether to do any work or not whether to get the work done or not so this estimate will help in many ways and in summary if i tell you this will give the clarity to your mind whether to say yes or no whether to go ahead or not as simple as that now one another word i have added here is how if you are telling yes then how you are going to manage that money is it self managed or is it from the borrowed money or should you are should we do in a partnership or you know your company is doing an individual or you are doing with partnership if you are an individual are you going ahead alone are you going with any partnership with one or two or three persons now if you are doing that also are you going it with temporary one or permanent one or if you are taking up the project also once the project is completed whether you are keeping it for the rent purpose or you going to sell it out once you construct that so these kind of many things will come to know if you put the, if you put the heading as how then things will follow and the solutions will come now let us see what are the types of an estimate see there are majorly two types of estimates number 1 is an approximate estimate it is also called as rough estimate and some places it is also called as preliminary which you do in the initial stage the second one is detailed estimate these are the major estimates i am repeating again in types of estimates whenever you come across simple answer is approximate estimate and detailed estimate but still in many places in many geographical locations people use different different words depending on the necessity somewhere they use as preliminary estimate some places they call it as unit uh, unit cost estimating and some places they also call it as total quantity or complete estimate and some other units are also there like revised unit and uh, you know repair unit or i can say you know for example if you are driving a vehicle two wheeler and assume that you are uh, you know the time has come for that vehicle to get the servicing done now normal servicing there will be some cost now whenever you go to the mechanic then you will ask them what how much it will be you know costing you for getting it done for one servicing so he will tell some rate and but he will tell you sir i am not sure if anything to be replaced then you have to consider that also if you are okay with that then i will take your vehicle and i will start the servicing for that vehicle it is as simple as that you assume something in the initial stage maybe if the bike is in good condition the person or the uh, you know the skilled person will be doing the mechanic will be doing only servicing work and whatever cost he tells he will take that much only but assuming that there is some problem in your engine there is some problem in the lights there is some problem in you know uh, uh, battery so something needs to be replaced then whatever the initial cost was there definitely it is going to change like this if i am telling you in detail types of estimates are only two one is approximate estimate another one is a detailed estimate we'll be you know going through about this uh, in a little uh, time but please remember there are other types of estimates also people the vocabulary is different people use different kind of vocabulary and the purpose of doing an estimate is also different sometime so we are not worried about that but as of now for your class please remember always estimate means majorly two types approximate and detailed estimate now let us see approximate estimate or rough estimate what does this mean approximate estimate or rough estimate this will help you in finding the approximate cost of the work or approximate cost of the project for taking immediate decision in a short period of time you have to take some decision you don't have much time so what you will do you will you will calculate you know based on your experience based on your previous projects done so you have some pro, some immediate in immediate steps you will do some immediate quantities immediate rates you will take then you will come to some conclusion of the cost that is approximate estimate now please remember i have written in bracket this is not exact this is just an approximate now second one as the name tells is a detailed estimate which is clear 
which is detailed in its format everything includes there each item whichever is you are going to do whether that is a work whether that is a service whether that is a project so everything will be included there all the quantities will be taken from the drawing all the specification related to the works will be very clearly written based on those specifications the material rates labor rates machinery rates everything will be included in the format and multiplied with the quantity then you will get the detailed estimate and this is exact on that day whenever you are doing the calculation you are not going to miss any item in this starting from each item whether that is a building work whether that is any any work related to that whatever components are going to come in it based on the data available based on the drawings available given specification or and the rates which are which are existing on that day you will multiply the rate you with the quantity then that will give you the detailed estimate so this is detailed estimate whatever day you are preparing on that day you, the rates you will take and you will prepare it in a detailed format this is known as detailed estimate now see as i told you uh, earlier the uh, points what we have to include or the various things what we have to include in pre while preparing uh, the estimates are generally what is the material we are going to use what is the methodology we are going to use for doing that particular work how much time it is going to consume and what is the rate which the labor or the skilled or unskilled people are going to charge what are the you know what are the things which are in our control and what are the things which are not in our control you know which are going to affect for doing this work are we doing in a rainy rainy season are we doing this work in a sunny day so many things matter so the components which you have to include or the various components which you have to include while preparing the estimates is the available data as much as possible the materials which we are going to use the specifications which we are going to use and the rates which are going to come in the project and the pro and and the real uh, the right methodology which we are going to use for doing this particular work or for doing this particular service or for doing this particular job all these things we will include as a head under the heading of various things which need to be included in the estimate because see if you are going to add all these things then that will enhance your estimate that will give you the that will give you the clear cut or that will give you the detailed estimate in fact so these things you have to include in your estimate now let us review and let us come to the final points for the class today now as i told you and as i was i was discussing in estimate many things matters that is the, the that is the reason i have used the word the things which are tangible which are you know certain which are in our control and some things which are not in our control sometimes some material you know owners strike will be there like sand uh, trucks strike and government's control on the sand so we don't know you know what is the decisions which are going to come in coming days whether that is from government organization that is from our vendors we don't know so that is the reason many things matters that is the reason please remember we are using this word as estimate estimate is going to fluctuate up or sometimes down high or low we don't know that is the reason always remember the exact cost and the exact value of the project or the work or the service you will only come to know on the day when you are closing your account maybe if you are doing a building project maybe you will come to know on the day when you are doing the ribbon cutting when you are inaugurating the project when you are closing your final bill you might have started with some estimate by the time the project get completes assuming that the project is taking around 12 months of time you will come to know the detailed cost or i can say the exact uh, cost which uh, you know which which has uh, incurred uh, in this project a total value of the project we will come to know on the final day then you can say this is the exact value of the project maybe it will match with your estimate maybe it will uh, increase it, maybe it will be more of whatever you have estimated maybe it will be little less we don't know you will come to know on the last day only but see without uh, you know thinking anything if you are starting also sometimes a problem so that is the reason management always will look at 
what is the estimate if i do this project can you give me some estimate or while purchasing or while getting done any work we generally take the estimates from the market so how much it will cost so that we are trying to psychologically satisfying ourselves or we are trying to actually you know planning ourselves whether we have that much money or not to take it or not if we really want that item it is a necessity for the company then in that case the company looks for the partnership the company looks for the external finances the company look for the bank loans so many things will happen later once you get the estimate it is not that easy to move ahead so estimate will accelerate the next step estimate will help you to go to the next step estimate will help you to take the decision immediately so please remember estimate plays an important role if we know this subject and if we know the process of doing these estimates you will become an estimator and you will be a valued person for the company you will be valued person for the organization please remember this okay i'll be stopping here thank you so much have a nice day